Hello, this is Mr. Elkins. Today is day five of our accepting no um, challenge where we are learning how to accept no. And now I'm going to flip everything that we've been talking about on its head. Um, today we're going to talk about instead of working on being okay with accepting no, now we're going to replace this behavior with thankfulness. Whoa, totally unexpected. It's like you're looking this way and someone came and went, right? Um, that's how it feels, right? Because it's like thankfulness, what does that have to do with anything? Um, well, first off, remember how we talked about behaviors, how behaviors start at the thought level. So the, our thought pattern for accepting no is based on, okay, I really want this. This thing is going to make me happy and then you are like really wanting that, um, or this thing will make me feel safe, this thing will make me feel fill in the blank. Um, and we view that as like a life raft when we're drowning, right? We're like, oh no, things are out of control. Let me get that. So thankfulness is kind of making you pause for a second and reflect and say, hmm, actually, I'm pretty satisfied right now. Uh, so it's taking a different perspective of being like, um, hey, I've got this. Hey, I'm safe. Hey, I'm okay. And you're starting with like, what am I thankful for? So I want you to take some time today to instead of be looking at the things that you want, um, I want you to try to come up with five things that you're thankful for before you ask for something that you want. So what that's doing is that's now building a different type of thought pattern where you're saying, hey, I am thankful for the fact that I have a family that loves me, the fact that I have food in the fridge, fresh water to drink, right? And then you come up with two other things. Um, if you can't come up with the first five things off the bat, right? Um, so that is going to help you when you feel like things aren't going the way that you expected. Just like uh, Mojo was learning a different way to respond to his circumstance, I'm now challenging you to start coming from the, the perspective of like, I am thankful. So for the next couple minutes, I want you to try to create as big of a list as possible of the things that you are thankful for. Um, and it could be anything and everything. Like, man, I'm super thankful for the fact that I have a pen that works. Because, like, that's a, not a big thing, but I'm just trying to build that muscle of what are the things that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that I have a phone that works sometimes, um, but I'm thankful that it works, right? Or I'm thankful that I have a computer that works, or I have a teacher that cares for me. Um, I, I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for my pet. I'm thankful for, um, for me, like I'm thinking of the food that I got to eat for breakfast this morning, right? I, I really love oatmeal, so I'm like, yay! And normally when I'm working at school, I don't have time to sit and eat oatmeal, like, but here I can uh, sit and eat oatmeal because my commute is like two seconds compared to like longer. So um, for me, I'm like, yay, I get to eat oatmeal almost every day. Eventually I'll be like, I hate oatmeal. But right now I'm like in this moment of honeymoon period of, I love oatmeal, yes. Um, but like the small things are, things that you want to start start looking at as, wow, I'm so thankful for that. And as you build that attitude of thankfulness, um, it's going to be harder for you to feel like, you know what, things aren't going so well. Because all of a sudden, you're starting to see things in a different way where it's like, what can I look at to say, wow, I'm so thankful for that? Um, what, what can I look at to say, wow, that's amazing? Um, so I want to challenge you to create as big of a list as possible throughout your day of, hey, what are things that I can be thankful for? 
instead of just things that I want. Like, I want to play video games. I want this. Like, yeah, be thankful for your video games. Be thankful for whatever it is. Um, so practice that. And now that we've gone through this, this would be part of your plan. Because now, instead of you saying, hey, I want this, you've got to come up with five things that you're thankful for before you ask for something you want. Uh, not a need, like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Like, you should go and do that, right? No accidents here. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is to, to build a new behavior into your thought life, a new habit, uh, so that you have a new perspective when you're looking at your circumstance. Um, and this is hard for me. Like, I am not thankful all the time. I, I actually get upset and I'm like, I want this, I want that, like, blah, 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 blah. So being thankful is something that all of us can grow in, okay? I appreciate your time. Hopefully this was a fun journey going through accepting no and working on that breathing. And hopefully you can take this plan and apply it to your life so that you are not just hearing what I'm saying, but you're changing things that you're doing based on these videos, okay? Because you can sit here and watch these videos, take some notes, and then forget about it and nothing happens. Or you could take what I've given you and kind of apply it to your life, uh, small changes that will, in the end, really change your day, okay? So I want to challenge you to make these small changes, little adjustments that will really hopefully change the outcome of your day where you're starting to make different choices in a, a lot of different ways, okay? I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend. It's Friday, right? See ya.